Nestled in the foothills of North Lumbee is a farm, but this is not your ordinary farm. We've got horses, three cows, a few chickens, a couple dogs, and uh, of course our zebras. Four of them, to be exact, not including the latest arrival, but we'll save that for last. They belong to James Oliver and his partner, who run a bed and breakfast near Mabel Lake, where the zebras are the star attraction. They look out in the field and they kind of look, and then they back and they go, what, what, what are zebras doing? What zebras? What are, are those zebras? After guests get their initial shock of seeing zebras in the Okanagan, the questions start flying, with the most common being, how are they in the winter? Don't they get cold in the winter? The answer to that, by the way, is no, because they have much thicker hides than horses. How about riding them? Unlike horses, uh, these type of zebras can't be ridden. That's because these zebras are wild and to be approached with caution. They trample their prey. Come on, buddy. But that's not to say that all oh, zebras are dangerous. The herd stallion is there proof of that. Hey, there you go. He's the friendliest, uh, most affectionate of the bunch, which is a bit of a surprise, I think. Um, and he's also the most curious. Not to be outdone is the star of Rawhide Ridge Guest Ranch, a colt named Star, born on a starry night and the center of attention who's not sure what he is. I think he thinks he's a sheep. Star was coupled with a sheep, so he would stop crying at night, like a baby. A baby that has okay, to be bottle fed every two hours. So he needs to be bottle fed for the first four months. So why? Why zebras? Well, the answer is neither here nor there. We like to call them farm candy. They can't be ridden, they can't be used as uh, work animals. Um, they're there to look at, they're there to enjoy. They're pets, really more than anything. But if you want to go there and see zebras in the Okanagan, visit rawhideridge.ca. North Olumbi, I'm Kelly Hayes.